Okay, so I got a photo bag to review. If you read the title, you know what bag this is. And there's not a lot of videos for this specific photo bag on YouTube or the internet. And for a second, I wasn't even sure if there was a photo block in here or if it was just the whole bag. But, you know, you're going to check it out. You're going to see. And I'm going to start. Boom. All right, let's begin. Okay, so this is how it comes in this big old the kind garbage bag. You know, it's it's nice. Definitely feels like high quality protection for my bag. Check this out. Ripped it open in one hand. One day I'm gonna hire myself a cameraman to get these uh, awesome videos instead of uh, you know just having to do this one hand. Oh, look at that! It stood up all by itself. Thank you, bag. Okay, so these are the tags. Just focus camera. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see if we can work with the brightness. I can use my shadow. Yep, so the main reason I buy the kind bags is for the lifetime warranty. And before somebody says, oh, a lot of other companies say that, no. I actually have had a zipper break. I had the bag for probably five years, so a zipper breaking. Growing up, I would buy a new backpack literally every year. So, zipper breaking on a bag is after five years. You know, I just assumed, you know, I'd have to buy a new bag. Nope, just contacted them. They're like, hey, here's some money, buy a new bag. So, the only bags I buy are Dekine. Highly recommend you only buy Dekine unless you know another bag company which, you know, says, hey, your bag broke, you want another free bag because we have a lifetime warranty. Buy it once and you're a customer for life, literally. So, you know, what can I say? I, I It's not even like a crap bag, like I love it. Like watch, you know, it's treated. It's, it's got nice, like, I'm not gonna say it's waterproof necessarily, but it's definitely water resistant. Uh, it's it's got a ton of pockets. Let's let's begin from here. Okay, so on the side, you know, stash some snacks, goodies. I mean, look, I got big hands. My hand is eight inches from bottom to top, and then from here to here, closed is like four inches. Maybe it's bigger. I'll measure it again, but they're sort of big hands. Okay, so we can stuff here. Let's try my phone. Okay, so this is my phone, one plus three. Okay, look at that, look at that. So, this is almost like six inches high because it's five and a half inch screen. Maybe 5.8 inches, don't quote me on it. I don't have the spec sheet in front of me. But look, look how big that is. And the thickness, like, you can stuff a bunch of stuff in here. But look, this is just one pocket of the many pockets. What's really cool is they got this little camera sticker. Man, that thing looks awesome. Because my camera looks just like it. If I was in front of a mirror, you'd see it, but, you know, I'm not in front of a mirror, so. Continue. Another pocket, this one is suede, so if you put something like glasses in here. One second, let me get my glasses for you guys. Yep, 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 reaching over. Yep, these are Nike glasses, and look at that. Look, a perfect fit, and it's safe because of that soft suede. Beautiful, okay. Glasses are gonna go back on this desk, keep it safe. Phone, phone can stay over there with the computer, looks nice. Okay, so we're gonna go through this. First thing is first, on top you have the clips, and this is where you can attach a skateboard. Uh, I don't skateboard that much anymore, but back in the day when I used to, uh, this bag is not capable of carrying two skateboards, as you can see. It's only capable of carrying one skateboard, and it's big enough to fit a snowboard. See, because it expands over here and over here. But yeah, you can carry a skateboard. And yeah, it's, it's pretty nice for that. Definitely recommend it. So, let's go through the first pocket now. So, we're opening it up. Check it out, we got the nice blue. The inside still looks nice with that reflective material. Look how 
you can shove a bunch of things in there. It's not that big, but definitely can. This is also inside is suede. This one is also suede. And then you just put pencils over there to hold stuff. Over here is where you can slide a computer. So I'm just gonna take my surface from here really quick and then I'm just gonna slide it in there. Take out that USB port. Okay. This is with the keyboard Surface Pro. Okay, so now we're just gonna slide it in there. Look at that, beautiful. Slides in perfectly. And look, we're on the go. We are ready. Okay, so then here, you can put the charger, your phone charger, more wires. Everything fits in here perfectly. Okay, close this up. Okay, now to the next opening. <laughs> okay, here we are. So with this, this is the main attraction, as you can see. We got the the kind, the open bag. We got zipper here. You can put a bunch of stuff in here. And then this one is separated. See, that is the separator. And you can also put stuff in here too. So, big pockets. So this is where you put your camera gear. So I'm gonna open it up. And voila. Here you can see the beautiful zoom lens and the other long distance a sniper lens. Got the cable, wanna hook it up to the TV, charge, transfer data. I usually just take the SD card out, a lot easier. And then, you know, the actual charger. And then uh, the Gorilla Pod is in here, but it fits in here perfect with the camera, no issues. This is also a good suede like material. My old camera bag was. I mean, even though it was a bit expensive, the material felt more like a lunchbox protector. This actually feels like it is meant for camera gear. This is really nice. I'm not worried about anything getting scratched, even though these have no lenses at the moment. It, it doesn't touch. Well, for these, these two, yeah, they are. But on the other ones, if it touched, I was worried it would get damaged. This, I have no concern. At this moment, you know, I'm not worried about any damage. And it's pretty fantastic. But here's the best part. Okay, watch this. Rip this out here. Rip this out over here. Boom, we have the bag, just like this, a little mini bag. So if you ever want to, let's say you're traveling, you know, you take this to the airport, you know, you, you go on vacation, you wanna go hiking, you can use it like a normal bag. My laptop's still in here if you didn't know. And look, look how much space you got in here. It's a regular bag. And you couldn't tell before, but look, look how big this pocket is. See, it's, it's huge actually. All right, I'm gonna just close that up. This is just on the go. You carry it like a lunchbox. And it is pretty heavy duty. See, I'm giving it a beating, and I don't have to be concerned about damaging my lenses. Compared to the old one, this fits inside the bag. Inside the other bag. It's fantastic. Okay, so there's more pockets. So don't, don't be concerned, you know. You, you got a bit worried. There wasn't enough pockets for you. There's more. Uh, hopefully this is big enough to put your sunglasses, you know. You know this, it just fits my whole forearm. But hey, hopefully that's big enough space for you to put your goggles, you know. I could probably fit all of the sunglasses in my house in just this pouch. Okay, let's zip that up. So now you can grip this. That was the front end with my laptop falling, but it's okay. Surface is very sturdy and strong material. Don't be, don't be concerned. All right, so look, we got this. Reach in like that. It's, it's great, it has a nice handle, nice grip. Got padding, cushioning, 
when you're walking. The nice to kind symbol. Let's zoom in on this. Let's get that nice zoom. You can read it. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Handcrafted goods, the kind. It's fantastic. Okay, so here, you can adjust the straps up and down. This is the safety whistle, so, you know, if you're ever skiing or you ever need a whistle, right there. So, this is great. Same thing, adjustable strap. These are the weight straps, so you will adjust it, cushioning on both of these, and this is great. Really takes the pressure off your back. And then we have another pouch over here. Now you can use this as a pouch because I have and it works, but it's really meant for water bottles. So you can just shove a whole water bottle. So give me one second. Zip this up. All right. This is what the stand is for. And what would a backpack video be without me trying on the actual bag for you guys? So one second. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, so, zip this up. All the pockets. This is my... It's just regular. Thermos, water bottle, retains cold, heat. I love it. So I shove it in here, stainless steel. Zip it up, look at that. Fits perfectly. And now, this will be me putting on the bag. Just so I can get it on me so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so clipping it in, just like that. Clipping these on, right here. It's nice and tight, strapped in. Okay, so let's get it on me. All right, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. This side's strapped in, adjustable straps. I think this is a pretty good height. The kind logo. Material feels nice. I have a North Face, and I actually have another Dekine bag, but I mean, this is great. What can I say? It feels awesome, as you can see. Looks great. Fits right below my headphones. I can just easily pop them in, just like this. Fantastic. Look, headphones clip by themselves. Didn't even have to do that. This is why I bought these instead of the, what are those headphones everybody bought, told me to buy a while ago? The Jaybirds. Yeah, I remember back when everybody was like, Jaybirds, Jaybirds, I just stuck with Anchor and these. Really happy. Okay, so let's get the back view. Place it over here and I will do a little twirl, spin around so you can get a good angle on the bag. Because this is great. So, the kind has a few models for their photo block kit. And I was actually looking at the sequence. I think that was their most expensive model, which was 33 liters. This is the mission, 25 liters. Uh, and basically, as you can see, it doesn't look like a thick bag on me. Looks pretty slim. On, is it focused for you guys? I want to focus on the bag. Should be focused, right? Yeah, I think it's focused. Okay, so this is the bag. This is the bag. It's nice, jumping up and down. You can hear the clanging because that is a clip on the watcher bottle. But I can move. Agile. It's nice. Nice bag. So when you have to go record, take your camera gear with you. Great bag, even without the camera gear. You know, the kind usually makes their gear for skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding, surf. The surf bags are thinner because you don't really need to have a bag on while you're surfing. But the skate bags, the lifestyle bags, the ones especially for college, like the Network and the Network Two, those bags are great. You can put so much stuff in there. Super organization. You can stuff snacks, drinks. I've forgotten which bag it was. They actually have it insulated at the bottom for your snacks. Like if you want a little sandwich and then like a drink, it's insulated at this bottom part. But this one, 
specialty is the photo block. One sec. Okay, so here it is. So this, look, it's, I didn't pay for two bags. It just came. So now I can just carry my gear. This did not come with it. I just, you know, took this from a duffel bag. You know, you can take it from anybody who played sports, you know, just take it off those old bags, you know, strap it onto this. It's definitely not uncomfortable to carry like this. It's actually pretty nice. The handle is thick. It does not feel like it's going to break. I could probably put 20 pounds in this, carry it. 25 pounds, it's still good to go. Switch the hands, you can see what it looks like on this one. Still good to go. You can hear it. it sounds firm. It's got the padding, it is thick. This is going to protect your gear. That's number one. And the best part, like I said, you buy once, it will last you. That's the main reason you buy the kind. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back into the bag, show you how simple it is. Unclip. Got the bag like this. You open up the second zip. Well, just my luck, I got the two zips tangled. Now I can't open this one. Oh. Okay, guys. Technical difficulty at this moment. Because I do not know how I got these two tangled to the point where I cannot open the zip. Okay, one sec. Okay, okay, I just need to get off camera for about 15 seconds to uh, fix that. And we're good. Look at this. It's open again. Now I'm going to shove the mission camera block inside to the mission 25 liter bag. Just like this. Actually, you know what? I will show you. Actually, just the insertion. So, this is it. I'm going to leave this little silica gel packet to remove any humidity that could potentially, you know, it's just why not? Protect your electronics, protect your gear. Cameras like, what, 700? Lenses, you know, this is like $1,000. Put a laptop in here, what, like $2,000? You might as well get good gear. I mean, just a water bottle, like reusable water bottle, what is it, like $20, $10? So, you might as well get a good bag that protects your gear. Okay, so now, just shove this in here. It's very simple. Now I'm going to push this, raise this little blue pouch, push this in, align this with the Velcro. Now it's attached, very simple. Raise this up. Attach it with the Velcro, done, very simple. Now it is inside, and that's it. Zip it up, zip it up from this end. Now zip it up from this end. And boom, look at this, such a clean bag. One second. Put the camera down so you can get a better view. Okay. Yep. That's good. So this is it. The Dekine Mission. The front. Pouches. Hold your skateboard, skiing, everything. Water bottle over here. We got the back end over here front. I guess I'll just run through the pouches and everything really quick just so everybody remembers. Open this up. That's my surface. Still here. Good to go. I'm going to take it out. Place it over there. You remember, put your phone here. Put your, you know, your other backup phone right here. These are suede, clean. This whole laptop, iPad, whatever sleeve. Just remember, um, it does not fit 15 inch laptops or Ultrabooks. This will only fit the max size that fit was a 13.3 inch MacBook Air. That's the max I was able to fit. 
and it was right till the edge, so be careful about that. If you're gonna buy this for camera gear, it's great. If you're gonna put an iPad Pro or something, great. Um, if you're gonna put a MacBook Air 13 or the new MacBook Airs, the smaller ones, great. This is Surface Pro, it will fit great. But it will not work with a 15 inch laptop, I tried it. Don't don't regret like you know buying it and then you can't put your laptop in it because that's probably one of the most important pieces of gear if you're traveling with stuff like this. Because if you're going out, you know, yeah, it's great, you got your camera gear. I mean, if you do all your editing on a desktop, yeah, it's fine. But, you know, if you can't carry your camera gear with you because you're in another country, another state, it kind of defeats the purpose, you know? I mean, you can still do a lot of editing on phones nowadays, but you know how it goes. There's only so much you can do. Obviously, you need a real software. But it's getting better and better. Who knows? In the future, you know, you probably won't even... No, you're always going to need it. But, you know, we're always in advance. We got this, the big sunglass pouch. There's little pouches on the side. This other pouch, snacks, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Great bag, highly recommend it. Dekine Mission 25 liter bag. So just because the photos had two and it shows like there's a little photo block and an actual backpack, don't get confused thinking that it can only be used as a camera bag, which is really disappointing for most camera bags out there. This one allows you to take it out. You have two bags and you were, oh God, there is a bug in the room. Okay, okay, that is a big bug. I don't know how that got in the room, but I, I gotta go take care of that right now. Okay, okay, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, um, uh, thank you. I really hope you get this bag. You know, the bag's good for you. Uh, it's great for my camera gear so far. I mean, I'll update you if I have any issues. Uh, one sec, I'll show you my other Dekine bag. This one is primarily meant for like skiing, that's why it's thin, it goes up really high. Doesn't have that much organizational stuff, but it's great. It's really cool how you can like hide water bottles, like look, I'm a magician, you didn't even know where that came from. Gone, where'd it go? Watch this, watch this. Houdini, this, this, this one's saying. It's amazing, okay, so. And, and you can put a lot more stuff, like look. Look how much of my arm I just shoved in this bag. You know, that's that's just for the water bottle section. It also has a whistle. Prepare your ears, headphone users. Ready? Be careful. Yeah, see? Great. I think I whistled so loud that my ears are actually like deaf or that thing that happens. Yeah. Great bag. These bags are awesome. I love them. Lifetime warranty. Totally get one, you know. Protect your gear, what can I say, alright? Peace.